We're starting in the front portion of the trailer and you can see this is our uh, fairly substantial kitchen and dinette area. There's seating for four at the table. Storage underneath the table, or sorry, uh, the uh, chairs here, and storage underneath the other seat. Access to this one is either by lifting the cushions or there's an access door on the outside. Storage shelf along the back, handy for your flashlights, Kleenex, pads, notepads, pencils. Now one thing the trailer has that a lot of the newer trailers don't have is a front window. And it has a uh, fiberglass cover that goes over it and that uh, flips up like an awning. So you've got exceptional visibility all around the trailer without having to stick your head out the door if you want to see what's in front of your trailer when you're at the lake or just keeping an eye on the kids. Lots of storage below drawers for your cutlery, your pots and pans, pots and pans drawer underneath the stove, stove uh, has a oven, three burner, a range hood which is lit and also a fan, there's a cover for the stove, adding additional counter space if need be, Above the range hood is a uh, Samsung microwave oven. It's a great little oven. Works super when you're plugged in. And I just made use of every space I could here. I put uh, some towel hooks so I can hang up my oven mitts and my towels. Dishes covered. Just bin storage. Tons of storage in this trailer. For all your tall cereal boxes. That's the problem in most trailers. There's not enough storage space for all your stuff. This is truly a family trailer where you can take everything you need for your children. Lots of cupboards. One other nice feature that I just made for the uh, kitchen area is this sink cover. It can slide in the grooves here to one side or the other to expose a sink. Or you can use it to add counter space and keep one sink open. And it can be just lifted out of the way when you don't need it. So that's a real handy upgrade to have that extra counter space. A nice clock. Uh, the entry door always had a problem with all my keys never knew where they were so I added this extra key hook area for all your storage our dog leashes and stuff hang right here by the uh, entry we've got your lighting when you come in and your exterior lighting for your porch light and just uh, more hooks here now on the back of the table here for added uh, counter space there's a flip up table and you can also use that for a little computer table if you wish I've got a chair right here that I can pull up to it that was in the uh, in the uh, bedroom at the back of the trailer originally and we never used it it was supposedly a TV stand for a TV back there we never used it so I moved it to a place where I could actually use it I've got the large double door fridge I mean, we can. I can pack this thing just incredibly f for uh, two weeks and never have to see a store again. Your freezer, and your refrigerator, and that's lit. I don't have the bulb in right now, but uh, when you open the door, it uh, there's a light in there to show us off. More another shelf up top for hats and what have you when you're camping. Seem to accumulate lots of stuff laying around in the camper so that makes an ideal spot to put hats and purses and stuff out of the way. Now in the central part of the trailer right where you come in through the entranceway here 
and it's a double door trailer there's one at the back as well uh, this would be our little living area we have a 24 inch uh, flat screen TV that swivels and uh, keeping on the entertainment note we have satellite radio which is uh, removable you can have a unit in your tow vehicle simply remove your satellite radio put it in your tow vehicle so you only need one radio and you can just move it to uh, the trailer here if I can get back on again there we go and uh, that's wired right into the speakers in the ceiling the speakers in the ceiling of the trailer along with the air conditioning ducts that's what you hear right now in the background it's quite warm out here in the trailer during the daytime I'm shooting and I have the air conditioning on so it's uh, it's quite comfortable in here right now satellite radio what a great addition that was to our traveling because no matter where you are if you're in the city or on the top of a mountain many times we're on the top of a mountain we have entertainment 24 7 never a problem with reception and then just a multitude of stations and it comes through your uh, radio here you just simply turn on the power Probably not the best song, it's pretty uh, tony that one to listen to, but uh, works great. That's the air conditioning unit. That's just simply the intake for the air conditioning unit uh, for inside air. The, uh, the entire trailer has ductwork throughout the whole ceiling, so the entire trailer is uh, air conditioned through the ceiling, as well as in the floor. There's a heating duct in the floor in the living room, and there's a heating duct in the uh, kitchen one in the bathroom and one in the bedroom. Again, lots more storage. We've got a ton of storage up top here. I just put these new uh, coat hooks up. Nice place to hang all your jackets and stuff. There is a pull-out couch here. And uh, very comfortable. And simply, oh, do a one-hander here. And that's it. She's ready to put the bedding on. There's the uh, couch folded down and uh, that's ideal for uh, sleeping one adult or if you have children you can put a couple of children on the bed but uh, that's it and it's a one-hander you just lift the front edge and there she is. Fold it up I've added a number of features to this trailer, so uh, try not to miss any here. We have, uh, as I say, we have our little 24-inch uh, flat-screen TV, which works ideal, works really good. And underneath the TV, there's a little cubby hole here, and I put in a sliding tray, just slides right out like so. And what I do with that, and you can see all the connections in behind, there's a plug-in, and there's 12-volt plug-ins back there. What I do with that is I put my uh, laptop computer on there along with my uh, exterior hard drive which has all our movies and shows on it and uh, fire that up and that works both on the uh, 110 and also its own internal battery so you can watch movies without having to uh, worry about your power source and then that just slides back into place you have to imagine the laptop is on there and that plugs into the TV uh, via HDMI cable so you've got uh, high definition HD uh, movies uh, from your own collection playing on your TV so there again no matter where we go in the city or on top of a mountain we've always got uh, entertainment with us the TV is 12 volts so it doesn't need to be plugged into 110 it's plugged in right now into the trailer system and also on the uh, right side upper corner 
in behind the uh, edge of the TV is the DVD player and that's built right into the TV so you can play DVDs in there games what have you or you can access it from an, another source like a laptop or a DVD player now I've also added this little uh, footstool here and uh, at least that's what it looks like this has a little place here for magazines on either side you can slip your magazines in there you can use it for uh, sitting to put your shoes on before you go out the door or you can use it as a lounge chair and I'll just show you that in a second so I said you can use it as a, a little sit down spot to put your shoes on before you go out the door or you can just pull it out a little bit raise the back and there you have a lounge chair or what I often do is I've got my little table here I can flip up and move this over now I have my computer desk and my lounge chair and it swivels so you can swing it right around if you want to watch TV right up here and you've got your own little end table this is a magazine rack and it folds down got a plexiglass back on it to protect you from any water stains got a place to put your beverage or hold it out of the way or swing it around or your conversation area and when you're finished with it it simply slides back out of the way and there's a quick seat and it's not in your doorway entry at all and below the entertainment center is another cupboard this is actually a hanging locker there's a uh, accommodation for hangers here so you can uh, hang jackets in this can be your main closet for your jackets and stuff going before you go outside we just use it as a, uh, a hold all cupboard. We've got our camp stools, the dog's outdoor playpen, our little brush, and there's other stuff goes in there before we leave. But there again, another large storage area. Now one of the things that we noticed when we first purchased this trailer was the privacy. Uh, we could have someone in, uh, in the bedroom or in the bathroom and uh, we've still got the main living area and the kitchen can accommodate people without disturbing anyone so if you've got little ones and you have to put them down for the in an afternoon nap you can close and close them away from anyone else in the trailer and not disturb them now this first door is entry into the uh, main bathroom and here we have now not many trailers have a bathroom this size this size. We have before we go in here six storage drawers. This is our main wardrobe area. There's six storage drawers for clothes, socks, underwear, t-shirts, whatever. And there's three large, I mean very large, hanging lockers for hanging your clothes. can find sp small space so it's it's a little bit hard to give you the perspective but you get the idea there's a continuous hanging rod and it's accessed by all three cupboard doors lots of storage in the bottom Got some sleeping bags down there we have our laundry baskets And it's another box to contain more goodies when we're traveling. Never run out of space. So one thing I added here in the in the bathroom as well. This is a little unit that's actually fastened to the wall. It just clips to the wall and can be lifted out quite easily. There's a heat duct underneath that's ducted out from underneath the uh, little drawer unit. Top two drawers are in this in the uh, house. Uh, my wife has those set aside so when she wants when we leave she puts her makeup and her own personal items in those two drawers I just bring them in slip them into the cabinet and she's packed she doesn't have to carry a makeup bag or a uh, 
some sort of container with all the goodies she needs. There's a huge shower. Right? Okay, safety grab bar I put in for my wife and for me, I guess, too. So this door can be closed off, totally private. Got a great dressing room. It's it's enormous in here. There's the toilet. That's on a riser. I may put that in too into the trailer because if you've ever sat on a a standard RV toilet, your knees are up to your ears. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the way it is. So I put in this riser and it's very a lot more comfortable. Good storage space underneath the sink for all your toilet paper. I have a bin of toilet paper down there. There's your toilet paper when you need it so it's not in the way. And uh, towels, extra towels. There's a plug-in if you use an electric razor, hair dryer, what have you. I added extra plexiglass shelves around the mirror. There's not that much in it now but when you travel and you've got all your stuff it all just fits in there and there's little lips on the front here. I'm sure you have a little glass here so the stuff stays where you put it. Medicine cabinet. Ton of storage space. There's the uh, electric fan here. A bit of excess moisture. And uh, yeah, works pretty good. Air conditioning duct in here as well. Dual lighting, you can make it as bright as you want. And then from here, it's right into the bedroom. And you can see what I mean by being private. Even if someone's in the bedroom, someone else can use the bathroom without disturbing them. So, here we are, we've got a heat duct, air conditioning duct, lighting, and while we're here, up in the top corner there, there's a plug-in for a cable TV, which we don't use. There's a 12 volt plug-in which I have a USB uh, adapter in or you can plug a 12 volt adapter in there. So this is a this is where we charge our electronics. Where this shelf sits now is where the other shelf where my computer sits in the uh, living room there. That was on this wall. We took it off and I added this other shelf which is ideal to put your phone, put your iPad and your electronics up there and they got the plug-in so we can charge them wherever we are and the hooks are just great you take your clothes off at night and you want to wear this, the same jeans tomorrow or whatever you can hang them right there they're not laying on the bed okay it's two windows lots of ventilation cross ventilation the back window and that's also your emergency exit the back window and another little addition I put in was this retractable clothesline. You can disconnect it and not use it, but we find it's not in the way. We leave it hooked up all the time. We hang our towels from the beach, bathing suits, they're out of the way. And uh, if it's rainy or whatever, you can still dry clothes. And here, there's a back entrance as well. You can leave the door open for uh, ventilation and uh, also to uh, escape in case of an emergency. All right, it's a queen bed. Try to get the perspective here so you can see it. And it, over the corner of the headboard, we've got two plexiglass corner shelves with their own LED lighting on either side and these are ideal if you wear glasses or you have a drink of water you want at night you can put them up there right on the corner over your 
place where you're sleeping and they don't bother you. Now one nice thing I found out too is if you have a clock and you want to see what time it is, I just simply place the clock. I think I've even got one here. Of course the time isn't correct, but I just set the clock down like so on the shelf and I'm laying right here in bed. I just have to look up and I can see right through the shelf to see what time it is. <laughs> that works great. Kind of just start covered that by accident. Now there's more storage here. We've got the uh, a drawer under the night table and there's another hanging locker. You've got some nice clothes, blouses, shirts. You want to keep away from all the other camping stuff. You can put them uh, in this hanging locker and uh, keep them clean and away from the, the smoky items that you usually wear when you're camping. More storage above. Use this for, uh, for bedding, quilts. And there you have it. There's a lot to see, a lot to remember. If you have any questions, you can get a hold of me. Or if you want to take a more in-depth tour and see exactly how everything works here, I can show you. So, there's a final look through the kitchen, the living area, right through, and into the bedroom.